Good day, students. You are welcome to class. Today we are looking at the topic fruits. And the objectives are we are to define fruit and explain the classification of fruits. We are to state the nutritive value of fruit. And we the factors to consider when selecting fruit and the effect of it on fruit. And we are to outline ways of serving fruits and fruit dishes. Fruit is a fleshy seed bearing part of plants. Classifications of fruits. Fruits are classified majorly into two. We have fresh fruits and we have dried fruits. Under fresh fruits, we have soft fruits, we have hard fruits, we have citrus fruits, and other dry fruits. Examples are we have figs, apricot, dates, and prunes. We have examples of fruit display here for you. Of course, you, have, you know fruit. You have different examples. Okay. And also, we have some examples there also. Now, what are the nutritive value of fruit? Why do we consume fruit? Number one, they are good source of vitamins. And what are the vitamins that you can find in fruit? We have vitamin A, vitamin B, complex and we have vitamin C. Then they are good sources of carbohydrates and the carbohydrates in fruits are in form of fructose and glucose. Also we have some carbohydrates that are in form of rough edges that helps in emptying our bowels. Then we have minerals. Though we have small quantities of minerals in fruits, some the minerals include iron and calcium with some trace elements. What are the factors to consider when selecting fruit? Whenever you are buying fruit, what are those things that you need to put into consideration? Number one, they must be fresh. Don't go for fruits that are not fresh. Number two, they must be free from insect infestation. Don't go for fruit that flies. Insects are all over it. Then they must not be overripe. Of course, you yourself will not like it if the fruits are too soft. Then they must be firm to touch. You should be able to touch the fruit very well, not too soft. And you should, it's advisable to go for fruit in season. Why do you have to go for fruit in season? Because when fruits are in season, they, can, they have their best nutritional values. Now we have mangoes in season. You can consume a lot of mango and you will enjoy the most nutrients that they are present in mangoes. Okay, what are the effects of it on fruits? Number one, vitamin C is destroyed. Remember, most fruits, especially citrus fruits, they are good sources of vitamin C. Now when you eat up the fruit, like if you store the fruit under hot weather or when you cook the food, vitamin C will be destroyed. All sorts of fruits will become softer and they will be more digestible. Cooking destroys bacteria which, which may be present in fruits. And pectin is released to make jams and jelly. What we refer to as pectin? Pectin is that watery that is present, that juice that is present whenever you peel your orange. And that pectin is useful and in companies that make jams and jellies. Okay. What are the ways of serving fruits? How can we serve our fruits? It can be served fresh or it can be served raw. It can be, the juice can be squeezed out like citrus and served in cups in form of your fruit juices. Then it can also be in form, in form of fruit salads. We have different fruit that we can use for fruit salad like purple, watermelon, apple, pineapple and others. Then it can be cooked and the juice gives out and used for making jellies. Fruits are a unique group of food because there is such a wide variety of types, flavors, colors, and textures. Nutrient content of fruit varies considerably between different varieties. We have other information ready for you in Google Classroom. Open it and answer the attached question. Thank you and God bless.